Uh, and on the box, you can see it's retail packaging, has their name, model, um, nothing really on any of the sides here. But on the back, uh, right here, it tells you some information, 16 gigabyte version, gives you a phone number, and gives you their website, www.gimmetech.com. Um, so that's it for the box, and there's nice UVC that you don't really see on these boxes. Inside, you'll find the tablet, and underneath here, uh, mine came with a screen protector. I'm not sure if that's standard, um, but it is a nice addition there. And, get on the card. This is the uh, power adapter, and it is the first one I've seen that is a USB port. It is um, 5 amp, 2 milliamp. That's come with a manual, it is in Chinese um, with images. A nice little packaging. And then you've also got the rest of the accessories here. And inside you'll get a uh, micro USB to standard USB adapter. Headphones. And this is the power cord. As you can see, it has the tiny little adapter and full size USB. And then a uh, micro USB cable to full size USB. And that's it for the accessories. Now back to the tablet. Here it is. Again, this is the uh, Gimme G9. It is a 9.7 inch um, IPS screen and on the front here you have a 1.3 megapixel camera um, and I'm going to go ahead and get it booted and the power buttons on the side on the top here you'll have a uh, back button and a volume rocker and on this side you have headphone jack a micro USB OTG uh, charging and uh, data port this is the external micro SD up to 32 gigabyte. Uh, micro USB here as well um, for like uh, miles keyboards, um, different connections there. Mini HDMI, power, and you have the power button here. As you can see, it's booting up. It does give you the logo. Um, as for the other sides, it's finished booting, by the way. Nothing else on the other sides. Now I would like to point out this is a very thin device. It feels really great to hold. Um, it's very similar um, if you've watched my reviews for the Aurora. I would call this an Aurora in build, except it's uh, it's better. It's got a metal kind of aluminum backing. Um, it feels just as thin though. And on the back you have a five megapixel camera, which is rare uh, for tablets. Speaker connections. You can see the uh, logo and the model and a little reset switch right here on the corner. So that is the physical device in a nutshell. Now let's go ahead and check it out. And that lock screen is actually uh, pretty cool to see. It's the first time I've seen uh, a lock screen kind of like this. Now you can see you can go to camera on this side or you can unlock it on this side. And again this is ICS 4.0.3 and on the front, um, I've changed the background, but um, this is is capable of live wallpapers. And over here, you can get to the settings. You can change airplane mode, turn on the auto rotate screen, uh, notifications, things that way. So let's go into settings. And you see the different wireless available, data usage. We don't really need to worry about too much. Um, sound controls, you can turn on touch and lock. Um, the display, and you can set the brightness. And it's got quite a range of brightness. Uh, sleep activity. You can also change screen adaptation. Uh, internal storage is showing 1.15 gig available um, for apps and then 13 gigs for data. And I have a 4 gigabyte external SD card installed, so you can see all that there. Battery tells you the battery usage, um, your app controls, accounts in sync. Um, here you can change, set your location services. And you can change the default keyboard. Um, the Android keyboard is a better option than the Chinese one. Backup and reset, date and time, accessibility options. And developer options is cool on ICS because you can set up um, you know, pointer location or screen updates so you can kind of see those things. And about tablet. Um, and in here you'll see the model number is the Jimmy or Gimme G9 Android 4.03 baseband version of 0 0.7 3.08 kernel <coughs> and the build number it looks like this firmware is dated 216 2012 now another great thing I need to tell you about the device there is a gingerbread firmware for it as well um, both of those are all out on the Slate Droid website you can find those uh, on the in the video so in terms of apps it does come with the market installed. Um, you get camera, email, um, and the 2160p, which is a decent video player. So let's go ahead and open up the market. <clears throat> and this device uh, should be able to be rooted by my root script. Again, you can find that out on the market. It makes it really easy to root. Um, so you can use different programs that way. Um, and as you can see, it does have uh, the newer market, although there is now a Google Play market. 
uh, which this may or may not update to, not a big deal. Um, but as you can see here, top paid, you know, programs I own a lot. <laughs> and you can access Skype. Uh, it is Skype capable on ICS, but you have to get the ICS Skype version, um, the most current version of Skype, unfortunately just doesn't work on it. So if you do a search for ICS Skype APK, you should be able to find that. But as you can see, we can uh, just download Adobe Flash Player um, and get that installed. Now Flash does work um, with the, uh, you know, in somewhat limited sense. If you need full Flash capabilities, I would suggest loading the Gingerbread firmware. Um, that usually doesn't have any trouble with uh, using Flash. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera here for a moment. I'm going to do my root script, and I'm also going to install um, some different programs, and then we'll come back and we'll test them out. Thanks. All right, I'm back. I have uh, run my root script, and it did root the device. Um, just to verify, I'm going to open up ES File Explorer. Go to Settings. There's the super user pop-up. It's been granted root permissions, and we can mount the uh, read-write system. So the system does have root control. Now, I'd also like to talk a little bit about the screen that I didn't mention quite so much. Because this is an IPS screen, um, it's a really high quality screen. And the viewing angle is great. One, you can see already the brightness level is, is nice. But the part that you don't always get to see is that the tilt of it, um, you can still see, see it clearly from the different uh, edge viewpoints. Particularly, you know, I have ton of light on in this room right now. Um, but I also just wanted to show you against the Aurora. This is the one I had talked about earlier. This is also an IPS screen. Um, and as you can see, they're both uh, very bright, very vibrant. And, you know, side by side, the uh, Geme actually almost has a better screen than the Aurora, in my opinion. The other thing, as I had said, it feels thin. Um, it's actually, I think, a little thinner than the Aurora itself, um, they being the Gimme, so, or the Gimme. So that's it for the physical things. Let's get back to uh, programs. Um, so I've got Adobe Reader here, and I'll just do a little test document. Um, just to show you, again, the screen quality. Um, and as you can see, you know, text is definitely large enough to read. Um, also, if you turn it to the side here, Come on, wiki wiki. Um, you know, you can get full pages on there uh, beautifully. So reading books, PDFs, um, everything of that nature, it will do really well. Also, um, got a graphic novel comic here that I've used in my various testing. And you can see here, that's in full page view. Um, easily readable, very clear. Um, you can always turn it back this way and uh, you know, have it a little larger. So uh, everything works great there with uh, PDF documents. Now, um, let's also do just a browser test real quick. All right. loading up Mary Mobile's website. Um, and that's where this tablet came from. It came from MaryMobiles.com. Um, great site in my opinion. They try to take care of their customers um, and it's I've found them reliable to buy from and recommend friends and family to them. So we're going to pull up the G9 here. And as you can see on their site uh, they do have a 16 gig version and an 8 gig version 259 versus 239. So if we just go to the 16 gig version here And you can see the site pulls up um, and gives you the list of stats. Again, the A10, ice cream sandwich, 1 gig, 9.7, 1024 by 768, HDMI out, two OTG ports, wireless in, um, slim body. You know, it's really a nice device here. And let's go ahead and see if we can pull up.
and you can see the boxes for the YouTube videos but they aren't coming up here um, in the browser this is Dolphin uh, they might come up with Opera browser but I did install the YouTube app helps if I spell it right and there you go So as you can see, YouTube videos um, play fine. Now, let's go ahead and just test the screen real quick. Nobody cares about faint. As you can see, it's got a good speaker system also. So Fruit Ninja runs um, nicely on the screen. As you can see, it is five touch. More than five doesn't work, but it is a five touch screen. So that's Fruit Ninja and the, the screen itself. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get a quick demo in of, well, before we get to Shadow Gun, let's just show you that it will play 1080p videos without any trouble. Got MX Video Player, test videos. And this is a 1080p H.264. As you can see, I was already running it just to test. This is 1080p MP4. MPEG-2. So it runs all the 1080p video um, just great. So there's no trouble with uh, 1080p video. Now I'm probably out of time, but I'm going to try to squeeze in Shadow Gun. If I can't, let me just tell you um, this is a great device. Love the screen, um, love the build, the metal backing, the thinness of it, um, and it's just it's just nice. The screen is great at 9.7 inches. Um, and I would say it's a, a definitely a tablet worth looking into if you're looking for a larger one. If you're looking for 7-inch, I still like the Aurora. Um, still a good tablet. And uh, thanks. We'll see if we can get Shadow Gun in for you.